Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys from the Mobile Report. I will leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So as Verizon is pushing out these new deals for Q1, and I'm sure there'll be some in Q2, there's something new that apparently that they're trying, which I don't know why this is new and why they haven't done this, but Verizon is calling it Book of Business. I've, I've seen it in a recent video of theirs. Um, they, had a, they had a retail manager on the show, and they were discussing that that's what they're now doing, Book of Business. So let me... Let me give you guys a backstory. So back in 2013, when I was a when I was a store manager at Radio Shack, selling all the wireless carriers except T-Mobile at the time, that was calling customers to book appointments was just a natural progression when it was slow. When you saw foot traffic was down, you didn't ring up the same amount of tickets, your your metrics were low, you started putting in the system, we had a system where we could put the phone numbers of customers and then we could see if they're eligible for upgrades or, or, or whatever. So when we would call them, that's how you were able to say, hey, look, we have great deals right now. Can we book an appointment? And then they would come in and then we would sit them down and then they would say, they would tell us, yeah, I'll take the upgrade. Or they would say, hey, I'm no longer with this carrier. I'm now with this carrier. You, you're... I mean, that is a natural progression. And I would even say, even if foot traffic is up, even as you're a bit busier, you still need to book those kinds of appointments be because you never know what can come out of it. You might call a customer and they'd say, hey, I, I switched to T-Mobile. And then, oh, okay, let me, uh, let me get you guys, let me get you guys in. This is what we're offering. This is what we can do for you. You know, give them a soft pitch sell them on the idea, get them in the store, and then you might be able to, to, to switch them completely. You never know what that customer's got going on. They might be looking for a bit of a cheaper. Maybe they like the mix and match you offer. Maybe, maybe they want a better performing product. Maybe they want FWA. They couldn't get it with T-Mobile. You never know what the situation might be. So you should always do these types of calls and book these types of appointments, no matter the time, in my opinion. So it looks like either Verizon is wanting to do three appointments per day or each of the store reps have to at least call three people per day. I didn't I don't quite remember that one. If you're a rep, let us know in the comments. Um, but there's great deals. There's great deals right now at Verizon. As you can see, Verizon has a free iPhone 15 for a very limited time. They're aggressive on the promotional side. So it should be, I don't want to say it's easy for the reps today, but... It should be a lot easier to, to, to get over that hump, right? The customer could be annoyed or whatever. Hey, why are you calling my phone? You know, because, you know, there's there's scammers and, and all that stuff out there. So you could just ease into the conversation. Hey, I'm with Verizon. This is what we're offering. You know, can we get you to, to commit to an appointment? And you never know what the outcome could be. Like I said, that, that customer could no longer be with Verizon. It could be with with uh AT&T, T-Mobile now, and MVNO, you, you just never know. So you want to constantly be calling people, in my opinion, especially on the, on the sales rep side. If you're a go-getter, if you're a hustler, and you want a bigger paycheck, I mean, this is the way to do it. You know, get three more people in the door. You already had a decent month of, uh, of converting people that just from foot traffic, you know, call three to six more people Maybe you can get two of them in the store and get them converted and boom, you got a bigger paycheck. So very interesting that this is coming up in conversation at Verizon. I, f I feel like they should have been doing this. Um, I'm, I'm actually hoping, hoping that this isn't something new, that they have been doing this. And if this is new, then my question would be to the team, why haven't they been engaged in these types of calls and conversations? So let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know if you've received one of these calls from a Verizon rep. Just uh, just want to see. So put that in the comments if you have. Um, stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.